Hello. Can everyone hear me? I can hear you too. I'm going to read an excerpt from a talk I just gave called Brave Enough to Care. Can you hear me back there? The world will say to you, be a better person. Do not be afraid to say yes. Start by being a better listener. Start by being better at walking down the street. See people, say hello, ask how they are doing and listen to what they say. Start by being a better friend. Start by being a better parent, a better child to your parents, a better lover, a better partner. Start by being a better neighbor. Meet someone you do not know and get to know them. The world will say to you, we need justice. Investigate. Ask why. Ask, is this fair? Ask, how did we get here? Do this with compassion. Do this with forgiveness. Learn to forgive others. Start by truly learning how to forgive yourself. We are all more than our mistakes. We are all more than who we were yesterday. We are all deserving of our dignity. See yourself in others. Recognize that your justice is my justice and mine is yours. There can be no liberation for one of us if the other is not free. The world will say to you, I am violent. Respond by saying, I am not not with my words and not with my actions. The world will say to you, there are too many problems. Do not be afraid to be a part of the solutions. Start by discussing the issues. We cannot overcome what we ignore. The more we talk about things, the more we see that the issues are connected because we are connected. When the world asks us big questions that require big answers, we have two options. One, to feel so overwhelmed and unqualified we do nothing. Two, to start with one small act and qualify ourselves. I am the director of national security, and so are you. Maybe no one appointed us and there were no Senate confirmations, but we can secure a nation. When you help just one person to be more secure, a nation is more secure. With just one outstretched hand that says, are you okay? I am here for you. We can transform insecurity into security. We find ourselves saying to the world, what should we do? What should I do? The better question might be, how am I showing up? I ask the world for peace, but do I show up with peace when I see my family and friends? I ask the world to put a stop to hatred, but do I show up with love not only for those I know, but those I don't know? Do I show up with love for those whose ideas conflict with my own? I ask the world to end suffering, but do I show up for those who are suffering on my street corner? We say to the world, please change, we need change. But how do we show up to change our own lives? How do we show up to change the lives of the people in our communities? James Baldwin said, everything now we must assume is in our own hands. We have no right to assume otherwise. This has always been true. No one nominated Harriet Tubman to her courage, to her purpose, or to her mission. She did not say, I am not a congressman or the president, so how could I possibly participate in the fight to abolish a system as big as slavery? She instead spent 10 years making 19 trips, freeing 300 people, one group of people at a time. Think about the children of those 300 people, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren and beyond. Our righteous acts create immeasurable ripples in the endless river of justice. We spend so much time 
thinking we don't have the power to change the world, we forget that the power to change someone's life is always in our hands. Change-making does not belong to one group of people. It belongs to all of us. You don't have to wait on anyone to tell you that you are in this. Begin. Get in community with others who give a damn. The power of the people is always greater than the people in power. We don't have to be heroes, wear a uniform, call ourselves activists, or get elected to participate. We just have to be brave enough to care. Thank you all so much. Enjoy your night.